There she is. What's up JR Garage? Welcome back to the channel. So you guys can read the title. Today is delivery day of our new Maserati Gran Turismo MC. So if you guys have been watching the channel, you would know about a week and a half ago, we were in California buying the car, doing all the paperwork, going for our test drive and everything like that. But as you guys know, it had to be shipped back home to the East Coast and today is the day it is finally arriving. Yes, so thanks to our friends over at Ply Car Automotive Logistics. Um, they really hooked it up for us and like literally the entire process, you know, you know we've been getting emails and constant updates where updates. the car is, how's it going, the trucks they have are beautiful, we've talked about this before. If you've ever shipped a car before, you know sometimes it's really sketchy, they're not keeping you up to date, you, you don't even know where your car is half the time, but Ply Car really, you know, overcomes all of those um, kind of negative lights that the shipping and transportation industry has on it, they're really kind of the, the best in the game. So. Yeah, so we got the update this morning, and they're like, hey, uh, we're just an hour away, and that was almost an hour ago, so right now we're headed to the meat zone where we're where he's dropping it off and then we'll finally unload it see it for the first time and then we'll go for a first proper test drive and kind of review the car do a little cinematic clips so it's going to be a fun fun video and we're heading back to the warehouse and all sorts of good stuff so without further ado let's go ahead and meet with the driver here we go all right guys just got off the phone with chris the trucker and he is pulling up right now first time we're going to see the car in two weeks so we're super excited beautiful fly car truck look at the size of that there she is yeah. All right guys, we just made it into the Maserati on its maiden voyage under our ownership. We're headed to the warehouse. Christian's in the S6, Kieran's in the S5, and uh, I'm of course in the Gran Turismo, and it is so awesome to be in here for the first time and really get a feel for it, um, because once again, that test drive was so short, I barely got to drive it and experience it. So now behind the wheel, it is so awesome. Just the looks and the sound, I, of course, the a Pininfarina body, Italian masterpiece. It looks stunning, we all know that. But the sound too, out of this naturally aspirated 4.7 liter V8, making 455 horsepower. So definitely a powerhouse up front. Is it the fastest car? No, but it's not trying to be the fastest car. It's just trying to be an elegant, stylish, just luxury sports GT Cruiser. That was a lot of words to describe it, but uh, Man, it is just so awesome. This car stock is still pretty loud. It, it's definitely got, you know, a good sound to it, especially in sport mode that opens off, uh, opens up the muffler bypasses and it's almost just the muffler delete at that point. Still is going through cats and resonators, but just that, just that low end verbal is so mean and stuff. So could it be louder? Yes. Will we make it louder? Maybe. There's ways to make it louder. Comment down below if we should. things I've noticed is that the car is just so easy to drive literally anyone can drive it you put it in drive and you go it's literally just like any other automatic transmission yes you have these awesome carbon paddle shifters which you can use to you know of course shift yourself if you want and it shifts pretty decently quick for for not being like a dual clutch or a single clutch for that matter it's just a torque converter ZF transmission it does the job very well shifts and downshifts it blips the throttle 
The shift times are about the same as my Ferrari F430. I'm very pleased with it. It is definitely, it'll do the job. And for maintenance, it'll definitely help not having an expensive clutch to replace, uh, like on my, uh, like on the Gallardo and the 430, you know, those, if the clutch goes, you're out $10,000. But with this, there is no clutch to go out. And just like that, we're pulling up to the gas station because it already needs more gas. This thing uh, does not get the best gas mileage, but uh, hey, we're used to that. Other side. Oh, it's on the left? Yeah. How was I supposed to know? Now I know, gas is on the left side in case y'all ever need to know that. All right, no backup camera. I thought it would for a 2013 car that's $160,000 or whatever. You'd think it would have a backup camera. Okay, first fuel stop of many. Uh. All right guys, back in business, all fueled up. Uh, another thing, the brakes on this car are awesome. I think it's six pistons up front. They're really big, yellow color contrasted, which is nice, but pretty quick it really starts to make a lot of power up in the higher rpms you know typical italian engines they rev high and make the power up top all right we're just moments away from the warehouse christian will get to see the car for the first time since he wasn't out in california which is me and kieran wow. stock exhaust you guys know i love playing with the exhaust so we'll see what we do there but yeah future mods be sure to comment down below what future mods you want to see done with this car what future videos do you want to see done with this car comment down below i'd love to hear your opinion uh all right let's go show christian and andrew the car and get their first reaction Cleaning. okay christian what do you think of the new car i'm liking it this is the first time i'm seeing it and wow i've seen Maserati Gran Turismo's out on the road, but the MC is just a special treat. All the carbon and the center exit exhaust, who doesn't love that? And just the sound, I heard you guys coming from a mile away. True, true. You haven't even seen all the carbon. Look, door handles, yeah. mirrors. Look at this. Look That's at true. Look at this excessive use of carbon. Boy. Look, carbon wheel, carbon this. It has like all three carbon packages, carbon paddles. Oh. Everything oh, is carbon. Good. Yeah, Isn't it cool? Oh, even those back seats look comfy, man. Seats four, I know. We should show yeah. them the, the tires. Oh, rest, yeah. in, rest in peace to my front bumper. Oh yeah, look I, at this. For some reason, these things are the stickiest. Look at all the little rocks. I, I was apparently kicking up hundreds of them. all over my car because I was driving behind it. Hmm. All right, yeah. you're welcome. Uh, let's take a look at that center exhaust uh, nice and close up. So if you guys didn't realize, normal Gran Turismo's have two side, two exhaust pipes, one on each side. This has center exit pipes, two of them, and um, basically it saves a little bit of weight because you don't have to route them all the way over there. It looks way cooler, and uh, like I said, that sport mode is basically a muffler bypass, valves open. And then the hood, another MC hood, you get these vents. So it's just a super, super cool car. All right, back in the warehouse. Christian, what we got cooking? Look at this, I've been busy selling cars. It's almost empty. Not quite, not all the cars are sold. A few of them are closing in on the sale process, but we're actually moving a bunch of the cars to another warehouse, a little more convenient, a little closer for us, better for our purposes of just really storing cars. But um, it's great, it's just down the road, so we've been busy shuttling cars back and forth and a bunch of stuff, so. So the next few videos you guys will see back and forth between this location and the other one, but it's exciting because it's the next intermediate step toward the big step toward Phoenix. So. Or somewhere in Arizona, or Nevada, or California. Still deciding. The um, and by the way, like you were saying about selling the cars, I think Ellis is sold, but the M3, uh, Skyline, and Viper, again, we've had like a ton of interest, but I don't know, a lot of the emails, either people don't reply, they're not serious or something. Again, if you guys are seriously interested in a car, email me. We will seriously work with you and work out an awesome, awesome yeah, deal. jrgarage 22 at gmail.com. If you don't know the prices and the information about the cars, then go watch a video two videos ago titled like selling all of our cars. And uh, there you'll find information about the cars that are for sale. But otherwise, until we sell them, we're still going to have them still going to make videos. But we got to move Ellis and the Ferrari back over to the uh, new warehouse. So 
I guess we'll do that now. Yeah, and then also the Maserati is going to make its way there. Maybe that's another reason that we added the Maserati without selling some other cars, so we can't fit them in just one place for now. Boom. But. All right, time to start it up. It's been a little while. Well, it's actually not too long. I was running it last week. All right, start her up. Naturally aspirated V8. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What a beast. All right, 355 time, here we go. So we dropped the 355 and Ellis off at the new warehouse, but now I'm back in the Maserati. We are headed over to the warehouse to finally get this car home. Uh, but we have a little stretch of road here. I want to get you guys an outside clip just so you really understand how good this car sounds from the outside. So Sounds awesome. I love it. Awesome. Well, uh, we're just moments away from the warehouse, so let's go ahead and hop in there. Let me show you around the new warehouse. I was thinking of making it its own video, but it's not that big of a deal. It's just temporary until we move. Uh, And of course, we're, we're just moving in here, so a lot of clutter everywhere, but hey, we'll, we'll clean it up, don't worry. So just a little tour. As you can see, we got a bunch of cars here. What's super cool about this one, it, is, it has this massive loft area that's like thousands of square feet above that you can just store a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna put tires and things like that over there. But check this out. This, it gives me like the like uh, fast and furious like underground racing vibe or something. I don't know. It's just so cool and sinister back here with all the lights off. So 355, 944 turbo, Skyline. So we can fit a lot of cars in here. Ellis, Round Herd, um, and then it's got a little office space up there, bathrooms, all your usual stuff. Check out all of our tires. I didn't know I, I didn't know we had this many until I had to move them all. Thanks, Karen, for helping and everyone, everyone with the move, Andrew and stuff. But uh, so. A lot of tires. Um, but yeah, there's your quick little one minute tour. This is gonna get filled up. We're gonna put flags up, banners, all sorts of cool stuff. But we're really looking forward to uh, using it and fitting a ton of cars in here. Now that we're buying more cars, we need kind of a bigger space and we can fit more cars in here. And it's closer to our house, a little more convenient, so it's, it's perfect. So. All right guys, so there you have it. Maserati is back in safe and sound with its new family members in the new home. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment down below what Maserati videos you wanna see. I'll be happy to make them. And that's one thing about the Maserati, like there's not many channels specifically or videos for that matter covering much about the Gran Turismo or Gran Turismo MC. So I really hope to cover some content that you guys are wondering about the car. Next video, I'll probably be talking about the deal I got on this, how much I paid for it, the price. When you guys hear what I paid for this car, you're gonna lose it. So stay tuned for that video. I'll cover all that in a video. Uh, all, all my costs and expenses involved with this car, shipping it back, all that good stuff. Uh, so that's coming up, and then I'm sure I'll do some exhaust review thingy-majiggy, or we'll do some exhaust modifications. I don't know, let me know modifications down below as well. But if you're new on the channel, subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a big like on it, comment down below, and we will see you guys in the next one.